Bacalar is located in southeast Mexico near the Belize border. The freshwater 35 mile long lake is also called the Lagoon of Seven Colors because the bright white sandy bottom showcases all the beautiful blue and turquoise hues. Due to its remote nature, five hours south of the Cancun airport, it's still enjoying a beautiful mix of locals, Mexican vacationers, and long-term travelers. We'll show you a little bit today, but only if you don't let the secret out. In our four years of travel, we've shared that life on the road isn't all staged photos and slow motion twirls. We're Tim and Finn, and whether we're stuck in the mud, stuck in the rain, or stuck at the border, we're sharing the unfiltered reality of it all. Subscribe to join the adventure on Trip. Welcome to a brand new adventure. We are in Bacalar, Mexico. We just drove down three hours from Tulum. Tulum. Oh, Tulum. <laughs> Tulum. You can see that in the previous episode of Tripped. And today's episode starts here at a seashell house. I really can't believe how beautiful this lake is. We got to go on a sunrise stand up paddle board and kayak session, so it was included here in the property. And the lake was super calm, and man, it's just like I love fresh water, I love lakes. And if I forgot to come to, which she was, of course, very excited about. How about a little story of why and how we are staying here in a seashell house? Down here in Bacalar, it is just a newer, up and coming spot, so there's not that many choices to choose from, especially last minute. There are plenty, plenty, plenty of budget accommodations around, but since this is kind of like special vacation for our friend that's with us and stuff, you know, we're doing a different type of travel than, than we normally do. So we end up booking, there was maybe seven choices to choose from for dog-friendly accommodations on the same day. Plenty of budget spots, but this one just happened to have access right to the water we have separate bedrooms we have a kitchen area and a living room we have access to the stand-up paddleboard and the kayak so since we're only here for one quick night we didn't want to waste time like being in town and then like going out to the lake and stuff like we literally pulled in the driveway and we all had our bathing suits on from Tulum and we just like ran down to the water and got right in So Pepper gets a ride. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about your life? You've seen it. You've lived it. You've been a cameraman. You've been, the, you've been an extra cameraman. It's exhausting always shooting. <laughs> You're just the guy nobody cares about. I finally get to enjoy where I am for a He once. has a quick joke here and there. A quip, if you will. And then people are like, get your stupid nose out of the camera frame. <laughs> Show Finny again, we like her. That's my life, I understand. I know what I'm about. The sacrifices you have to make. <laughs> it's not easy. People think it's easy. There's a reason I always look exhausted. You're able to 
see how to get to the Rapidos. Yeah. Because mine is like, it doesn't look like it's near water. It's this road like trip, there's, there's a, been a lot of planning like this. Go south. Tim. There's a restaurant. Further south? Okay. Belize it is. Here we go. We're going to Belize. <laughs> no, we're not. But we're going close to Belize. We came so far south on this road trip, we didn't know we'd be coming within spitting distance of Belize. <laughs> We didn't bring our like passports. We had no idea. At least we're gonna catch you on the way back north. Vinny, how did this fall through the cracks? No, no one here in the car knew that Belize was next to Bacalar. Absolutely no one had any idea. I just dropped the car. I just dropped the car. Los Rapidos. Oh, no mascotas. It was touch and go today with whether Pepper was getting in anywhere, but once they see that little smiling face of hers, she opens doors. They did, they did ask to see the dog, and then <laughs> we were like, it's this, and then they were like, ah. That dog weighs three kilos. <laughs> That's barely a dog. She's, she's pushing four. One of the most popular places in Bacalar is Los Rapidos, or the River Rapids in English. Due to the narrow mouth between two bodies of water, the current is even stronger than it looks. What do you do here? Grab a beer and enjoy Mother Earth. ideal dog situation they're really not allowed but they're just not being they're being nice that one of us doesn't have to like sit and wait in the car and while we take turns so pepper can go into a designated area like behind the restaurant here but pepper is like not used to just like being not with us and stuff so she's not happy about where her spot is over here <laughs> um, but that allows us to at least like swim and stuff which is pretty nice we're gonna take turns being within sight of pepper while we're under the little it's hut. hardly the toughest it's hardly the toughest situation ever i'm i'm going to make it i'm okay i'm okay <laughs> just another one of those like traveling with the pet things i'm going to jump in the water Lake Bacalar, and specifically here in Los Rapidos, is an area filled with stromatolites. I don't really know what this is, but I did want to address it here. So what are they? They seem to be a fossilized coral or something. I don't entirely understand if this is a large structure or small round circular structures based on photos. All I know is not to touch it. So I hope desperately that's not what we're doing here in this video. Um, our experience at this location was similar to what we saw other people doing here. If you know which areas in this video to stay away from, please let everyone know in the comments. Upon leaving the restaurant, we saw a sun-faded photo recommending tourists stay off these stromatolites, but still not entirely sure where these are located. If you're heading here, stay informed, and I expect as this place becomes more popular, hopefully the restaurant and other travel blogs will help here in education as to what areas are okay to be on and what areas can be damaging to the environment. I never know where we're heading to next, but... Well, Los Rapidos was an awesome way to spend the day. So one night down here, two days, was definitely not enough time, but that's why we'll just have to come back another time. Another time. Another time. 
that it? Bacalao's done. Bacalao's done. We're off this week to go explore the northern part of the Yucatan Peninsula.